friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, which something tells me you are. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Morgan, and I am posting videos every week now religiously, so check the channel. You can verify for yourself. <laughs> anyway, so I went ahead and filmed a tutorial on the look that I am wearing right now. It is super glittery. I just got like, what do you call it, distracted by the glitter. Just then, you saw it happen. I mean, I am a blonde, I guess. Okay, this look is super pretty. It's very glittery. It's very like burgundy and burnt orangey, and I really, really like it. Like a lot. As a matter of fact, I wore this look out last night, and I got so many compliments from people telling me how much they liked how it looked. So I figured, hey, since that many people liked it, why is not? Why is not? Why not? film a tutorial for you guys. I'm moving my head like I'm a puppy. It's not as cute when I do it. Hmm. So I went ahead and threw on a lip gloss here towards the end. I did not film that part. Either way, it's Chelsea Girls from NARS and yeah, that's really it. So if you want to see how I created this beautiful, I got to stop moving my head. <laughs> if you want to see how I created this look, this glittery mess, then just keep watching. Hey friends! So let's do this tutorial. So as far as foundation goes, I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick and I am in the shade Y325. I think those are the shades we're using now. If not, it's 118. Either way, I'm placing that all over my face and blending it in with this Morphe M439 buffer brush, I think is what it's called. I don't know. Either way, it's a big fluffy synthetic brush that I am just using to buff and blend everything seamlessly into my dome. Alrighty, so next up is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Buff Bisque. I have really been enjoying kind of doubling up foundations lately. I think it just gives um, your look, I don't know, just something special. Either that or it's all in my head. So then I'm using this Morphe Flawless Blending Sponge to just buff all of that in and make everything look nice and Gucci. I really didn't know what word to use, so I picked that one. I'm sorry. Next up is concealer. I am in love with this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but I am so bougie I am using two. Just kidding, they are always out of my perfect shade, so I have to blend the two. So the colors that I am putting down are light, medium, and fair. I put the light, medium down first and fair over top, and then use that same Morphe blending sponge to blend them all together. Alrighty, now that we're all nice and blended together, I'm going to set my under eye with the MAC Pro Emphasize powder with my Kat Von D shade and light brush using the light end. I have to set my under eye right now because literally if I don't, it will be a crazy mess in like five minutes. So next, we're going to be doing some cream contouring and I'm going to be taking my all-time favorite, uh, and that is the Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer and just using this little Morphe, what are you called? You are a Morphe E8 brush to blend it all in. And then I'll go back in and use that same beauty blender that I have been using the whole time to buff it in. Alrighty kitties, next up we are going to set the rest of my face and I am using the Airspun Translucent Loose Setting Powder with just this little cheap ass puff to put it all into place. I really need to invest in a better puff, but I mean, this one gets the job done. It's just kind of janky, but that's all right. So now we're going to do our brows and I would like to apologize because I am just not good at filming me putting on my brows, but what I am using is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil to fill it in. And then once I get that done, I'm going to be taking the Benefit Gimme Brow to fill in any of the sparse spots. Then right now I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer to just kind of carve out the underneath of my brow to make them look fleeky as possible. Y'all know how to do that. 
and just blended it with my finger and then my beauty sponge. And then to set it all, we're gonna be using that same MAC Pro Emphasize powder. Alrighty, now the real fun begins. So I'm gonna be taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm going to be placing down Tempura with a Morphe M504 brush, displacing the, the color all over my lids. I just wanna make sure that there's no tackiness, no stickiness, so the rest of the shadows can blend seamlessly. Next up, using that same brush, we're gonna be placing Golden Ochre into the crease. Uh, right now I'm just kind of trying to build up the crease little by little, so I'm going to start with the lighter shades and then gradually get darker. Now we're going to be taking raw sienna and burnt orange on a Morphe M412 brush. It's more of a tapered fluffy blending brush so I can get it nice and precisely in the crease. Then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go back with the original M504 brush and blend all of the colors together. Now I'm going to be taking the color Real Gar on a MAC 217 brush and I am going to predominantly place this in the outer V area. I eventually I'm going to drag it to uh, the rest of my crease but I want to start it out in the outer corner so that it's the most um, opaque out there and then gets a little bit lighter as it moves towards the inner corner. Does that make any sense at all? Now I'm going to be taking the same fluffy blending brush that I have been using the entire time to blend all of the colors together. We don't want harsh lines people. If there's anything you need to learn from me it's that harsh lines are the devil. Now I'm going to be taking Venetian Red on that same MAC 217 brush and I'm going to be repeating the exact same process as I did with the real Gar shade. Just placing it in the outer corner, blending it out as best we can, and then slowly dragging it into the inner corner. Then taking the same fluffy blending brush and blend her on out, people. Just keep blending. Blend till your fingers bleed, I don't care. Just don't have harsh lines because you'll look ridiculous. Alrighty friends, it's time to get sparkly! So I'm going to be taking Primavera in Vermeer on a Morphe S4 brush and just placing it in the inner corner and very lightly dragging it to the middle of my lid. I am going to eventually cover this up with glitter so it doesn't have to look perfect. Um, and then don't worry about the edges getting too light because we will cover them up too. Now I'm going to be taking the tried and true Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue and just putting it on with my finger. I think it's easier to put on with your finger than it is a brush. And then the glitter that I am using is something that I just recently purchased. It's Margarita by Lit Cosmetics and I placed it on with my finger and honestly I wish I would have used a brush because it was a bitch to try to maneuver and move around. But either way, I think it ended up looking perfect, so that's really all I care about. And like I said earlier, not to worry about the edges not being uh, as opaque because we are taking that same MAC 217 brush without any new product and just deepening up the outer corner again to bring back any of the color that could have been lost. Now to line my eyes, I'm going to do a wing and I'm going to be using Max Black Track Gel Liner. I think gel liner is easiest to use whenever you are using any type of glitter or loose pigment. Um, I think it just glides over it a little bit easier, but I will say this was difficult. I actually ended up having to go in with the Makeup Forever are you even called ink liner the mattifying ink liner to fix any mistakes that I made because y'all it was hard then just putting mascara on I'm using the exact same buxom mascara that I use and I think every single video because I am obsessed and then I'm gonna place Huda Beauty Sasha lashes on now people I did this off camera because it is it's a sight to see okay it's a sight to see to watch me put on lashes while trying to not screw up glitter in the process. But how cool do I look right now? Seriously, I feel like a real guru. So to do the underneath of my eyeballs, I'm gonna take that same golden ochre shade just to very lightly bring some color and then we're going to intensify it as we go. The brush that I am using is a Morphe M321 brush and now I'm going, and 
the whole time I'm using this exact same brush. So then I'm gonna take raw sienna and burnt orange, the same mixture, putting it underneath of there, and then using a Sigma blending E25 brush to blend all the colors together. Then on my inner corner, I'm using the Vermeer shade, um, which is a much lighter shade compared to the two sparkly ones on just some like random blending brush that I had. Then to start the contour, we're using MAC Shadester on that same Kat Von D shade and light brush, only this time we are using the shaded side. I am not dragging it down very far even though it looks like I am, I'm really not. Because I like to look more bronzed than contoured. So to bronze, I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer on an e.l.f. Uh, kabuki brush. Honestly, these are my favorite way to put on bronzer. I really don't know how I did it before I had these. Like seriously, I don't know. I am a huge fan of blending your face together. I just think it makes you look more put together. So I just use any uh, fluffy synthetic brush to do that. And then I always contour my nose. Like I have to have a rhinoplasty every single day. And I use the Morphe E30 brush with whatever bronzer that I happen to use for the day to get that job done. Then to put a blush on me dome, I am using MAC Eternal Sun because um, I am obsessed and I love this shade like forever. And I am using an old school Morphe S13 brush that was really difficult for me to find because this brush is so old, it's nearly worn off of it. And as I place things on my face, I always go back and blend them together with that same synthetic brush. Then to highlight, we're using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting because, or no, excuse me, the Hourglass Luminous Light, I think I'm making up highlighters at this point, with the Morphe R36 brush. There tends, there, are, there seems to be a pattern here with uh, my brushes. They're all freaking Morphe. Uh, but yeah, same thing. Blend, 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 people have to blend. So to tight line and line my waterline. I'm going in with this old Clinique Quick Liner. Um, I'm not really a big fan of putting a uh, liner in my waterline, but I just thought it really pulled the eye look together, so I went ahead and did it. Then I'm going to placing mascara on my real lashes. Do not place them on the false lashes unless you want to ruin them, then I mean, I guess you could do that. And then I'm just putting it on my lower lashes as well because I am somebody who has to have mascara on my lower lashes. Now for the lips, I am using the new Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner, and this one is in the shade Bare to Commit. Then people, we are done. Congratulations. You are now a sparkly mess, but don't forget to set it, okay? So I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray to stay flawless for hours. Then to make my cake face all become one, use MAC Fix Plus. Oh shit, y'all, we forgot to set our brows. Don't forget to use Anastasia Clear Brow Gel to make those babies stay in place. We cannot have them roaming around. And that is it, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next week. Goodbye.